Every time I look at this park, I'm like, Sure, this is starting to look like the park of my dreams, but there's still that one awkward position all the way on the lo on the right of this this view that is really bugging me. And a lot of terrain may need some fixing too. Why don't we get to that? Hiya Borkers, I'm Jalen Fulf and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Last time we were here, we did a lot of ride replacement as well as a lot of other simple solutions to our park. For instance, a new interactive ride. And then we may also have a lot of other things around the park as well that could have been done as well. For instance, uh, new rides over here, as well as a lot of other things. And I also described that a lot of the stuff, I've also described how I absolutely love the Steam Workshop, how much the, the community in regards to creativity has gone up, especially not just with this game, but also with Frontier's other similar game, Planet Zoo. And on top of that, I've also included some of those, some of those features in as well. For instance, Amori, who was one of the featured creators on on uh, the Planet Coaster um, front page, the menu, created these amazing lava lamps, which I have actually used in this park. So if I set my lighting to 12 a.m. for a moment, you can start to see, ooh, that's, a, that's some nifty lighting I see right there. It's not just the standard issue yellow that you see on those little path lights over there, but on top of that, you also have a lot of this stuff to go with it as well. So I've, not, so I've used a little bit of green and blue. There are some orange and purple ones as well. However, I do intend on using those at a later time when all of the, um, the rides get recolored and renamed after you guys, which I will definitely explain later on this particular location. There's a little bit of terrain that may need some fixing. I'll get to that when I can. But not just that. On top of what we already have in this park, there are some more things that I've done off camera, off camera that I have done as well. Remember this path that we built alongside this whole particular area? And also I mentioned, here, let me close this so I don't need the lighting anymore. I also mentioned on um, that previous episode that I built a, um, no, no, not I built, but I joined a Planko community discord with other creatives as well, which may include some, if not all, of Planet Coaster's featured creators. One of those creators who I did name in the previous episode d suggested the alternate path but on top of that, also suggested a single Zozo to increase prestige. And so far, it may, it may still be a little too early to consider, but there hasn't been any, any people going over here. And I will resolve this issue in a few moments when we get to the next episode, which will involve sequence changing. And I believe the Zozo does have a few sequences that may need some changing as well. But, uh, but like I said, off camera, I did a lot of changing, which may include this new ATM that you see right over here. I'm, now, speaking of the ATM, do you notice the logo on top of this ATM? That to me looks like the old demonetized symbol. If you guys, th if you guys think about that for a minute, have a quick stare at it. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. And you tell me if that's the demonetized symbol. Okay, now that that's over with, that ATM's new. All of these lamps and security cameras, bins and benches, all of those are new since the last time we were here. I've also hit the open button on the Zozo because I never got to do that the last time. But yeah, all of this path stuff is all reworked and stuff like that. And... Do you notice anything different about one of my rides? I noticed 
that when I went to my bump and derby, remember I remember I remember I said I'd color this bump and derby after me, and I left it there for so long. Well, since the bump and derby, I've also had a success coaster that I also told myself maybe this would be colored after me instead. So I went back in, got a bump and derby, re collected the old colors for that bump and derby, and applied them here. This is temporary until I can find someone who can probably get their colors onto this thing. And that's not that's not going to be for a while. I'll, I'll pop, up, pop a message on Twitter when the time comes. But until then, this is what you get. So anyway, aside from that, there are a lot of other things that could be done. There's a lot of empty space that could be useful. For instance, I did clear out a huge space over here for a ride that I'll be building later. And there's a reason why this path is so straight. It's probably for that ride. Can you think, can you guess what it is? In the meantime, however, I'd like to go in and probably just do some terraforming. Why terraforming, you may ask? Simple. There's some spots that I do find to be a little bit awkward in most places. Like I have been flattening, I have been curving a lot of stuff. I just haven't been smoothing out some of the terrain and haven't been, um, creating natural terrain, as I was saying. Like, there's some cliffs over here that could be useful, and a little little thing that looks like a rock. Like here, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this up to make it actually look rock-like. But not have the but not have the thing a little too big. So yeah, this will be like a rock over here, and then all of a sudden in the back here, that could be look like a rock. And then just paint it around, make it look more rock-like, if you will instead of all the grass on it. I was making it look like a little little cliffside grass area a little bit without even realizing that, oh, maybe the, if there's some, even there's something underneath, the rock inside is hollow so that the, so that it looks like the underrang carved the rock inside and made it that way. That's what I was, that's what, that's what I'm aiming for with this, this whole uh, change the grass cliff into a rock here. So with that, so with that one out of the way, there are some other places that could use some work. For instance, probably over here, maybe. I remember I had this little cliffside carved out in favor of a monorail, but since that monorail is no more, spoilers, I'll be having a monorail built out when we get to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start if I go to 50 foot for a minute. It's probably not gonna let me go to 50 foot, but something closer, because this thing only works in like metric units and skip some in foot. I'm going to try to carve out as much as I can out of this cliff over here. And try to carve as much as possible out of it, just to push it out of the way up until a certain point where I see, oh, this is where the, this is where the uh, coaster stops. I see the coaster now. That's going to be the point where I'm like, okay, that's probably where it's going to stop. So yeah, let me go ahead and pull that back. And I'll be pulling up to here. Just to that point. And at the same time, I'll be not pulling there, but pulling there. And maybe just a quick push there. Smooth out if need be. That should reduce it a little bit. I'll do the same thing over here as well, because that looks jutted out as fuck, and it's probably a little bit excessive. But of course, I'm gonna try to make sure that I don't include any of the coaster that's already there. By the way, um, I'm sure I mentioned this in, the pre in a previous episode, but the coaster that's around this is actually named and based after an actual coaster at uh, Bush Gardens in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia actually called Griffin. Yes, this is the Griffin um, dive coaster. Actually based off of the uh, Athon design. And then pull here. And just smoothing out this place. But unfortunately with smoothing comes the cost of... Oh wait, actually, there might be a point where I'm just like, gee, maybe this works. 
So yeah, this is gonna be a lot of work, but in the end, it would be worth something. Like, I could, I could do that there, but that's probably not worth the time and effort. Like, I could do this as well. But again, I just need something to work off of. So yeah, this could be like something worth my time. And then if I just push it a little more, yeah, that could that could probably work as a cliffside almost. And just push some spots here and there. Oh yeah, that's probably going to be a bit of a problem to see the see the holes like that. And smooth. Smooth out this thing a little bit. The idea of smoothing is to get rid of any jaggedy edges and just make the whole thing look neat. Like when I did this flattening part, I was like, yeah, this could definitely work until I realized, oh, this may not be natural. I want to keep it natural. Sometimes natural might not be the best solution. So I'm like, sure, this might work at some places, other, other places it won't. True story. So yeah, let me see if smoothing does the thing here as well. Yeah, like, I could definitely smooth out this location and make it work in the long run. But of course, also pushing out some parts could also make it work too. Like, have, it, have this just push over here and then smooth it out again. Make it actually seem smooth, if not that bad. And then just start pushing out here smooth here. I have to keep pushing as I go, because I don't want the thing to be like, oh, this is the thing. This is where I built to... This is where I built the, um... the people mover for the hotel, and... that's what ha that's the result of that. No, that's not what I wanted. What I ultimately wanted was something that would... Oh, God. Let me undo all of that. But the end goal is just smooth out the curves over here to make it look neato. Ne neato Stevo. I don't know why I said that, but okay. At the same time, that jagged rock could also use some smoothing as well. I don't think that looks like a natural rock to me. But that's also not supposed to be grass. I can repaint that. Do not fret. A repaint job is useful. over here, paint the top. And that's just to make sure that uh, that the paint actually, or the rock actually goes well. Like, make it look like a rock. Like I said, like I said, the story behind this rock would have been like, oh, this rock could have been here for years, but then all of a sudden, the underrang suddenly came, and then, bam, now all of a sudden, it's just hollow rock now. But yeah, that's the smoothing of the rock. As for smoothing for the rest, it could go like that. But as far as smoothing goes for here, I may have to start pushing this little terrain just to get that neatened up and tidied, like that, and then make sure that's smoothened out nice and neat as well. I don't think this can be smoother enough, but it was worth a shot to try anyways. Oh god, now it's starting to jut out. 
That's not something I like. Yeah, this would need some pushing to make it work. Something like that to make it work. But yeah, that's worth the effort. And then when we do all of this, the pushing of here, and then all of this over here, I'll be getting rid of all of that nastiness later that I don't necessarily need to build on. Like that, and then like this. Work off of that. Just start pushing this down into something that I can still make it useful. Look terrainy almost. But still make it work. So like that would be a thing. And then like this. Yeah, I'll be doing a whole lot of this as I go. So if it's probably boring, then I would suspect that um, there's a little menu down below on where uh, the timestamps for certain point key points in the video are. So if you're not into the whole terraforming thing, I would suggest going to the next part, which is stamped down below. You'll also notice the little little player also shows this. This part over here was also a bit awkward. This was actually built originally for the um, quick draw track ride over here. If I go into um, uh, if I go here to interactive ride, quick draw over here was based off of this. Do I still have Gunslinger? Yes, I still have Gunslinger. That is a quick draw design. Here, now that I'm now that I'm on a bigger bigger space to work with, let me just work with 98 foot and then try to take this all out. Like bring it down all the way. Like that much. Make it actually look like a cliff side, mind you. And then just smoothen it out just a little bit. But this part just needs to be uh, pulled up just a little bit so it lines up well with the terrain next to it. But this part also needs to be pushed down so it lines up well. This isn't smooth enough. Like over here, per se. And then if I kept going, this would have also had to be smoothened out as well. I mean, the edge over here was just nasty as fuck, but again, some sacrifices need to be made as well. Now, if I go back to Mystic Manor over here, this is necessary. But at the same time, over here with the Hyper Coaster, the Equalizer, this also needs a bit of smoothing to make it look neat as well. Because the station's so low, and then the track next to it is also just as low, that it really needs that little bit of oomph just to get it there. Like that. Almost. And I'm trying to be as quiet as possible, because I've got kids in the other room sleeping. Anyway. Quick little trip around to see any terraforming options. Like I, I believe, didn't I... Didn't I also have a spot where I said, oh, this spot is awkward as fuck? I think it was over here almost, wasn't it? I mean, this part could really use some terraforming with the... Could use some smoothing out with the cube path like that and whatnot. But even then, that's probably not worth the options and time and effort. Over here could use some work. At least, like I said, this part could stay... For now, at least, because the plan over here is to... I can probably do it now while I can. 
The plan over here is to actually sculpt a mountainous terrain that would ultimately serve as the backdrop to this whole coaster. Like, I can start the, the base for the mountain right now, and even with that comes the idea that, oh, this is as far as it can go? Okay, we'll sculpt the terrain against the coaster for now. Yeah, we'll sculpt the terrain against the coaster for now, but then we're going to have to start creating the mountain on top of it. Which would mean sculpting a tunnel over, over it at some point, like that. And yeah, sculpting a tunnel is going to be fun stuff. Ultimately, this would be the whole mountain. Not like a, uh, a passage underground, but definitely something that would be worth the time and effort. Like, if you, if this is going to be a coaster name based after you, almost. Like, do I have any paint that could look like snow, or... No, unfortunately I don't, because if we think very carefully, I've chosen the Alpine map, and with any map comes limitations which do include the terrain. And unfortunately, n unfortunately, the terrain is not my limit here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is, unfortunately, the terrain is, no, the, the, no. The terrain is not my limit. The paint job is my limit. Yeah, once I've carved out this mountain to my liking, I'll go ahead and uh, Cliff Mountain-esque a little bit, if you think. Oh god, I may have pushed up. I may have pushed out a little too far, or pulled a little too far. I'll go ahead and push it back. So then this terrain would merge together like that. And then we'd have to start carving the actual mountain itself, make it look mountainous and daunting rather than just a rock, jutting out rock. You know what I mean? But ultimately, at the very end of it all, I also wanted to try to build something that looks like a trigger almost, like a trigger point, if you think about it. Because there are some coasters, I've seen coasters out there on the Planet Coaster Workshop that do include this um, so-called uh, trigger point system. Where what happens is the... Um, once the coaster crosses a certain point, certain triggerable objects... Like, you, you can see it as a prime example on the Har Heights over here called Eerie Elevation. That the coaster, once it reaches a certain point, it would start um, triggering, like, stuff like geysers or explosions. Stuff like that. And ultimately... With the person that I want, with, with whoever gets this coaster named after them, I want to leave it up to them, ultimately, to decide, oh, this is what I want for them. This is what they want. I'll put, I'll give it to them. So 
So ultimately, what ends up happening? Yeah, I'm gonna leave a big space here for this. So like, jut it out there. But I'm gonna have to start pulling the terrain back like that. How far did it go? Not that, not that far, didn't it? So that would ultimately be the mountainside for the Ace of Sky. So that little big spot there, that if I go back inside the thing, if I go back inside here for a moment with the with the coaster and everything, have it go up here a little bit and then just start coming back down like this. I'm gonna start pushing this back again enough so that we can just have the whole thing be seen up to a point. Ultimately, when it reaches a point, I want to have something trigger. And that would ultimately be the decision made by whoever gets this coaster. Whoever gets this coaster and gets to name it and, does, and color it after themselves, will also get to decide what goes in the middle of this little helix over here to create a trigger for this little in, inner mountain area. And then coming out of the mountain as well, I'll leave it up to them as well to determine if they want a trigger coming out of the mountain too. It's like if they wanted something from the Magnificent Rides expansion, or if they wanted something like an explosion, or if they wanted at some point like a pond at the end, maybe a pond with a geyser. I'm just putting out ideas here, but that's what I'm aiming, that's what I'm aiming for here. So yeah, again, when it comes down to, oh, this is what we got. That's what you get. Eventually, when we, eventually when we're done with this video, I'll go ahead and get another little ride of the Ace of Sky again, just with the extra ter terraforming done, just so you guys can actually see this is what happened. Let me just pull some more terrain out of the way just to make it look more mountainous instead. And by more mountainous, I mean, oh, we'll smooth out this one. Let me just start pushing this down like this, because then that would be the start of the mountainous area. On that side. But then when I start pushing this out, it's going to start... You can see it's going to start clipping because that's the park limits. But I'm going to smooth it out. You'll see, smoothing is a big thing. Roughening up, too, is an option. But then smoothing out that particular section is also an option as well. I mean... I'm limited in what kind of tools I can use to make the, all of this magic happen. Does it more look more rock than mountain? That's up to you to decide. That's pro This probably doesn't even look like a mountain at all. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest here. I wouldn't say this is mountain-like. There has a, there's a little bit of rock attached to it, but then again, I gotta make some sacrifice happen in order to... Oh, God. I need to make some sacrifice happen in order to, uh, in order to make the bobsled work here. Then again, this might not be the right environment for the Ace of Sky. Oh, God. Smoothing has started to pull this thing. Yeah, let me go ahead and just push this out a little more. So yeah, that looks to be our um, that looks to be our mountain for Ace of Sky done. It's a start for something, but hell, it's probably not the best. I could tell you that much. It's something, just not the best. 
Oh yeah, definitely over here could use a lot of work. With the pathing and everything like that. I remember I had to make that work somehow. And then wasn't there also a spot somewhere where I had a coaster that I was like, oh, this is a, wait a minute, it's over here. Some leftover stuff from the high spin, I believe it was. I just have to flatten this part out. I'd flatten it, but I'd also smooth like this. That would be success coaster done. Which, unfortunately, isn't gaining much success because prestige is starting to decline a little bit because of lack of scenery. And that's the part where I'm going to go to in a future episode, starting to scenery up the place. Oh yeah, the Cascade um, Mountain-like area here could also use some smoothing if need be. I just really love how I designed this. Small little uh, hill-like hill -like mountain area a little bit. Tried my best to make it look like a mountain almost, with a little rock jutting out right here. And then tried to carve my success coaster around that. Should work. Still, should still work out in the end. Not too, pro not too problematic. And then this little hill over here. I, I did carve out a whole like tunnel for the go karts, and then also carved it around this little. I th is it either Iron Fury, Steel Vengeance, or Malice Unchained? I'm trying to remember which one it was. That's a Malice Unchained. Yeah, I, I carved it out of that little hybrid coaster. And unfortunately, the little neat grass design just has to go, given the, given how this doesn't look like. Yeah, over here was a bit rough on the edge. I could, I could just make it smoother if need be. Yeah, from one angle, it doesn't look nice. Yeah, it's starting to look more like rock. It's natural, okay? It's natural. If there was any more terraforming that I needed to do around here, I would have been able to do it. But it looks like, but it looks okay as it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. So with that out of the way, all the terraforming looks to be done. So now I'm going all the way over here. Remember last episode we built this path and I had a good purpose for it because over here I used to have a river rapids. That has since been replaced with this rapids over here, which I call Jungle Drift, and I had to put in the jungle to replace through the jungle, which I eventually moved here and ultimately deleted in favor of clear ice. But now, in lieu of losing some such coasters, I need to add one myself. For a while, I've used workshop items, and much of the coasters you see here are built by me. Like, I've built this wooden coaster by myself off camera. I built the Malice Unchained. I built the, I think this is a Steel Vengeance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a Steel Vengeance, and I'm calling this my success story. I built the Equalizer. I built, over here, the Underang, which is the Boomerang um, Trident. I built the People Mover. I built um, the Dragon Coaster all the way over here, which is roughly designed after one of my good friends. Then again, I could also utilize, if I, if I look at it very carefully, I could also utilize if I just try to customize the colors myself. I did color the car after those colors, but I want to try to see if I can get the tracks after the same thing. It might not blend in well, but it would work out well. Of course, those colors can easily be rearranged, if need be. E Is that white track? Let me just quickly 
tone this down a little bit. Uh, that is white track on top of, yes, on top of purple, purple trim, purple supports with blue station and then red, red supports. Okay, pink supports, yeah. Yeah, this is based off of one of her dragon characters. But I don't think that fire is natural, if I think about it very carefully. I'd have to... Here, let me go ahead and... I'm gonna wait till this coaster comes back around. I'm gonna get a nice screenshot out of it, like this. There we go. Oh, wait. Um, no, that works. That works. So I'm gonna see if... So I'm gonna, see, so I'm gonna get some opinion from her, or him, rather... I forgot the... Yeah. I'm gonna get an opinion from him to... Yeah, I have, a, I have a memory loss when it comes to transgender. I am gonna consult him in regards to whether that flame is natural. And if need be, does, does he want a trigger point at all at a particular location on the coaster that would make this work. Also, this is his coaster after all, so I'm also going to ask them directly if they're watching this video, what kind of station building do you want on this thing? Asian? The basic standard panel walls that you see right here if I go to custom and then start searching for Panel. I'd be working with these panel walls right here, except colored after you. But what would you like? Asian something that would fit your character? Please um, let me know so I can work on that during the um, building phase. But yeah. Back to this, recall last episode that I built this path and I had a purpose for it, to get an alternate path from this part of the park to this end of the park without having to go through the jungle area. Unfortunately, the jungle area is so heavy in scenery that peeps are still going to go through it. Which is why I need another coaster to get the peeps over here. Look no further than I'm going to go to a custom coaster. And I've chosen to build a launch coaster styled after the likes of Top Thrill Dragster, King Ka, those kind of launch types. Now, I could use a lot of good launch types in here. For instance, I have a couple of Typhoon-type coasters down all the way over here, the Bar Guest and the Infinite, but those are a bit too small for my liking. I'd rather go for something along the launch style, um along the launched type, not, I mean, it is a t launched type, I think. Something along the launched type that would work. Now I've gone through all of these designs off camera, just tested out the, tested out how the whole system amongst the, um, how, how they're, how they're, um, launch system worked, whether it was based off of drive tires or hydraulics or based off of other feet, other magnetic stuff. LSM, like this Copperhead Strike. But ultimately, in the end, when I went through all of this, I chose to build a Zenith coaster. Hydraulic launch seems very nice, and I think that's how the other two coasters that I mentioned, Top Thrill Dragster and King Ka, worked. Remind me if one of them's different, like an LSM or something. Because I know the Copperhead Strike that was in Carowinds was actually an LSM. Based off of what I saw there. I'm going to have to probably build this station. Oh god, definitely not like that. I'm probably going to have to build this station here. Not like that, but I want to try to build something along the lines of here. But I'm going to try to here. Let me just put the entrance that away. 
and see how that works. I think, wait. Top Thrill drags during King Ka. Didn't the coaster go to the left and then go down? I'm trying to remember something here. lift there, and then just start building. But I also want to extend the station a little bit, just so I can get this working. So build, build, and build again, and then I start building these. But I actually want to start building the hydraulic launch first. So that would be this piece right here. Now I do recall that if I went through this and just started testing right away, I'm not going to be able to test it immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple pieces down, try to go to my the limit that I want, and then see how fast it's going before continuing. It is going to crash, I'm aware of that. But no guests are harmed during the making of this, I'll tell you that much. So let me just go ahead and see how that's, that's done. If I go all the way back over here and see how that's done. Is it supposed to pause at some point? Or, yeah, it's supposed to pause there. And then it starts launching. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay, so that does that. There we are. There we are. So that's a good start. But now let me go back over here. Because every time I built a ride, I would always go start from here and end here. Some coasters, if I recall correctly, actually do something different. And I'm going to be reminded if, I, if this is any correct way of doing it. But some people do like to do this. If I just go all the way like this, and then just start turning like that. Like I could do, a, I could do four 45 degree turns like this. Then that would be that turn. Like I don't know where this, this thing is gonna... Yeah, I literally legitimately do not know where this thing is going to... Um, going to come back down from when this thing ends, so that's going to be one part of it. So let me go ahead and get the top hat system going. By the top hat, I mean this bit right here with the... Oh god. That's not what I want. With the coaster going up like this. Ultimately, the curve that I want is going to end up turning I don't know, like that, like that, like that, like that. Wait a minute. How does it turn? It turns like that, and then... Which direction is it going in? Is hmm. yeah, and that's the ultimate descent. Like I could drop twist here, and then exit the top hat here. Is that going to be too wide? Yeah, that's going to be too wide. So here, I'm going to fix this point real quick. Like, I ultimately built that with 45 degree angles. Could I in instead build
build it with 90 degree angles and it could still work. Is that still lined up? That is, in a sense, I think. I mean, I could also go ahead and just autocomplete it from there once that's done, but that would require me to do some work back end. So let me go ahead and just start lifting this up a little bit. Like I could go 30 degrees here and then 60 over here. Like that would be King to Ka type because all, cause that's not how King to Ka, the top hat here is not how King to Ka works. But we're mixing up a couple of, couple of mixtures of rides here. So if this reminds you of any particular ride that you know of, not just Top Thrill Dragster or King to Ka, you are free to post in the comments. Now is this too high? That might be too high. Let me go ahead and just start deconstructing up to here, and then just start doing this. And then bring this down to, like, not like that. That's not the... Bring this up to 50 like that, and then just start bringing this down to 45. That would be our brake system, wouldn't it be? Yeah, trim brakes like that. Hold on, is that too high for our liking? I want to end up at 14 feet in the end. No, that's a bit too high. Let me turn that back down to here and then start doing a thing. Oh no, that's 14 feet though, isn't it? So if I just did some extension here, is that a little too short for my liking. Let's see, if I did that, and then I did this, is that 14 feet? Yes. So now I can just auto-complete like that, except I want to auto-complete a different way. that and then I'd have to connect like this instead yeah like that so now a quick test will show how far does the trim brakes go in order to make it work is my question I could also just delete a little bit of the station to make room for a block break somewhere. And does it does it work? Well, it goes up there. I think it might be a bit too intense. Yeah, that's too intense. I'm going to see if I can reduce the speed. Stop the test, and then just start replacing with drive tires, because drive tires are better. Now I'll start the... and over here at the same time, let's uh, demolish that.
I'm going to start building block breaks. I have a block section here. Remove up to there. And then connect it like that. That's the block section to have multiple coasters run this thing at once. I need to remove the scare factor here. So this is going to be a bit trial and error, finding the right launch speed for the right height. Because ultimately this, this one needs to be a success story, like, I, like I've did in the past. Yeah, see the drive tires ultimately drive the coaster to the hydraulic point. And once we get the launch going, the coaster just needs to... Oh, and it fails. There's something I can work with. Put a hydraulic point there. And then start the test up again. Honestly, though, I do not know if the scary point would happen on the hat top hat or during the hill. Oh, there goes the fear factor. There it is. That's what's going on there. Yeah, I was worried about that. All right, so stop the test. So that's not what's mattering, ultimately. I'll need to see how fast this is. Uh, since I had that point, let me just see how fast this is going when it reaches peak first before doing anything. So let me start the test again. When it reaches peak, how fast is it going? That's perfect speed right there. So stop test, because I don't need that right now. The problem, as you guys may have seen, rested in the hill here. That's how guests got scared. Or, as many may say, the get testers riding this ride got scared. That's how it happened. So ultimately, instead of having the hill here, I could start applying trim brakes early. Like, I could instead start applying trim brakes here. I could do magnetic brakes as well. Let me see what magnet. Let's see if magnetic brakes does anything better. If I could just build that there, and then. I don't know. Could I just. I'll demolish that. No, not that. This over here. So ultimately this then would turn into this. Oh no, that's not going to work out well. That's not going to work out well. Ultimately, I would need to smooth the turn here. So let me go ahead and smooth the turn, make it neato to depot. Actually, smooth all while I'm here. Make it as smooth as possible if I need to, why don't you? Because now, hopefully, the magnetic brake does something to make it work. <clears throat> With, because because ultimately that hill was causing the peeps to get scared in the first place. So I don't know if magnetic brakes are going to be the thing, or if 
we have to work with the um, trim brakes here, if that's what we have to work with. Now that does better than before. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. I actually have to trim break that. Yeah, let's see if trim breaks does any better. I'd have to piece together a series of trim breaks just to get that to work anyways. I'm ultimately worried about the fear factor in this thing. Still? Weird. Here, let me stop the test. I'm gonna replace all these magnetics with a uh, trim. And then instead of having this height, I'm gonna get rid of this. Start from there and then get rid of up to there. Oh god, not that. Because let me demolish all of this. Ultimately, the guests really just want something small to work with. That's t ultimately still. Hmm. here. That's still a problem. Here, let me just, um, no, not that. Get rid of this. Because ultimately I just want to get rid of that and then replace it with that smaller bit there. Which unfortunately means the speed here has to decrease. And so the drive tires have to come back into play. So how fast is it going here? And I need to also watch the fear rating as, as, as it changes. So how fast is it going here at the peak at 301? That would have been too high anyways, 500 feet. No one will want to ride that. Yeah, the fear doesn't go that high. It all works out. Does it make it? Well, the block brakes catch it. Oh, perfect. Something along those lines. But then again, I still kind of want to start replacing as I go. So if I replace that with drive tires again, I need to trial and error the speed at here. Because ultimately, the suspense, it's either going to kill the guests or make them more excited. I want that excitement to go up.
Does it make it? Ooh, barely does. All right, so let me control Z that. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to leave it like that. Just to make sure that it still runs the same test, or rather I can, here, stop the test. Because instead of this over here, let me go ahead and just replace that all with, I'd have to delete all of it and build a station on top of it instead. Even better, if it allows, I could also add yet another block, no, another block section, drive tires to the next section, and then apply a block section to autocomplete it, and that could possibly add more cars to the mix. Hmm, wouldn't that be a wonder? But let me go ahead and just add those cars in block sectioned. That would add just two. Why two though? Unless we wanted this to be a block section. Let me go ahead and edit track real quick. I have a feeling that I'd have to apply a block section here. Like this point. Change that to a block section. Because that's that point. And then if I do all of this, change all of this to drive tire in case of problems. Wouldn't that now add the third coaster? It would most certainly. All right, so now that that's out of the way, pop the test. And you are going to see the ride experience for yourself. Unfortunately, I'd have to make some sacrifices to make this work, but it's still worth the effort. Woo! And there it goes. So starts the next launch, and the tr and the process continues. Yep. Then so starts that section. And those guys get launched, and then there you go. See? It worked just well with a three-coaster system. I may not have the best test ratings for it, but still, it works. I mean, wait. Didn't it work just fine with a two-coaster system? Again, it's always worth the effort of just looking and seeing. So if I replaced all of this with trim brake, just up to that point, that would get rid of the second coaster. There you go. And then if I applied the test again, now we'd start having to... <coughs> now we'd start having some real work.
Yeah, because for real, the coaster is expected to start as soon as the first car, first train comes back to, um, if I point at this point in the track, because that's when the next bit starts. Because you ultimately need the coaster to come all the way back here, start this section, and then work its way through. Still the same ratings, I don't mind. So yeah, let me pop the close, and we'll be good for that. Now, as far as entrance and exit is concerned, let me go ahead and... Ooh! Decent prestige, nice. Go ahead and entrance and exit this baby up. Probably want the exit over here, though. And the entrance on this side. So like this, if I go down like that, I'll probably start something. Probably want to start designing a decent Q-Path setup that would probably work for scenery. Given how I've also seen some... some scenery bits here and there. Oh god, that's probably not going to be worth... Oh, good god. That's probably not the cute path design I want. No, that's definitely not it. Let me undo that. This would be the cute path design I wanted. There we go. That's what we wanted. And then for the exit path... That, that... And then all of this, get that there. Actually, control Z that because, no, control Z that because I want that straight. There we go. So now as far as scenery is concerned, let me go ahead and beautify this up to make it look 100% prestigious. Or rather, that's gonna come in the, uh, in the uh, ride prestige section. Oh, we're already 3% anyways. Wouldn't be too bad anyways. Although I'd love to, I'd love to start putting some lava lamps there, actually. Now that I'm here. Let me go ahead in my blueprints and actually look that up. Lava. There we are. We're going back to the Amori lava lamps for this. Which would also mean having to set them up. Control Z that. And then which one was the blue? I went to 12 a.m. I wanted, um, let's set up a couple of blue ones in the area to make it a hundred, to make it close to, as close as possible to 100% prestige. Like that. And then duplicate it again. Make this 100%, make this as prestigious as possible. And then duplicate again. Make that. Get as many in as possible. Light this place up. What? Why don't you? And then get rid. Get this over here. And then over here, we're gonna put the same thing. Let me do the same thing as much as possible all the way along this end. It's probably not the best choice of scenery, but damn it, it'll be worth it. I can always just get rid of some of these lamps if I need to, to make it work. But ultimately, at the end of it all, this section here is what needs to be removed. because I don't need that section. Now, what kind of prestige does this hold? That holds, oh, we've got 100% prestige on this. So let me go ahead and test again to ensure prestige.
All right, nothing changes about the rating, but the prestige goes up multi, multiple times. I would love to see my guests come over here. Wow, we've done something amazing to the to the Q path as a whole. Ultimately, it's the Q path that create, brings the people in. So we'd have a lot to work with. Like if I go now to. Oh yeah, the guest thoughts are going to show up there anyway. So if I go over here, yeah, guest thoughts are going to be that. Then the guest thoughts are going to start coming up here anyways. All right, that works out. We still have a lot of time left before. Yeah, we still have a lot of time left before we end off. So I want to do a little thing with the front of the park. Remember last episode I deleted the monorail? And boy, did I. And, I, and pardon me, I'm going to go ahead and trap my guests for just a moment. Because I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to trap my guests just for a moment because I'm going to need to... Start building shit. This is a rebuild phase for this particular part of the path because that is going to be rebuilt for the sole purpose of what I'm about to build. I don't need the panels anymore. I go into my blueprints here and I'm going to go into my creations because for those of you that follow my workshop, you may have noticed that I've uploaded a monorail station, a panel walled monorail station. Purely panel walls, neatly colored in line with all of this. I mean, it's going to look nasty given it's so close to two major points in this park, particularly the shops as well as some other locations. That can easily be fixed and arranged. But ultimately, what this should do... Actually, I could, I could do it this way and make it still work, right? Yeah, make it still work like that. But how is it going to... Yeah, I'd have to clear some trees to make it work. So let me go ahead and take care of this immediately. By removing some trees here. Excuse me, let me just clear these trees first, then these trees. And then I want to see how bad it looks from this end. If I try to apply the station end here. From a top-down perspective, it might not look so bad. See, so I'd apply it like that. I'd have to get rid of some, get rid of this tree over here to make it work. And then ultimately, this works out. So, what did I do here? Well, I designed this with the intent to incorporate a monorail station as one base for my um for my park now i in originally intended for this to be the only such monorail piece the only such however however i realize now that the way transport rides work, and I'm going to go into track rides, into custom, into transport rides, and I'm going to go to the light line, which I originally had before deletion. If I go in here, I'm going to have to control, I'm going to have to rotate this in line, 
and I'm going to make this entry right exit right for, for the purpose of this. No, 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 it still works with entry left, exit left, it looks. Because if I did this, yeah, that's what I ultimately want. I want to make sure that it lines up perfectly with the station itself. By the way, I did. I don't remember if I said this, but yes, this station piece, this building, is in the Steam Workshop under my name. So I will have a link for it down in the description if you guys want that for your park. Now, I will give you some advice. The panels are colorable, so you can color them in any way you want. The monorail itself has to be lined up well with the intended path positioning for the entrance and the exit. And it had it would be a nasty work piece of work for me to do this, so I'm going to have to advance move this to let it up well. how bad this looks. I'm going to need to... This is going to be a bad lineup if I say so myself. So it would have to line up here, and then line up like, oh god, uh, line it up like this. This is going to be bad. Is that lined up? Yes, it is. I think if I go back here and I look carefully, is that not lined up? There we are. Now that's the lineup I was going for when I was building this station piece. And even me, I struggle too much with placement, exact placement so much that sometimes this doesn't work. But yes, this is supposed to be the intended placement for the station as a whole. I originally designed it for the light line, but you can also make this work with other mon with other transport types. I believe light rail works as well. Some of the steam train stuff works, while the tour bus may also work. So let me go ahead and build that, and then start building the monorail as a whole. And yeah, this would ultimately work around some existing stuff. Notice the colors too, they're after my fursona if the light didn't uh, 
hide that fact. Now, you may notice a hole in the roof. I um, originally wanted to put glass there to put light in, but sadly that wasn't possible. At least with the pieces that I had. I know there may be some toolkit items out there or some workshop items out there that can really help with that, but I decide not to, so big whoop on that. If there's any... Um, if there's any non-toolkit items you know of that could work as a roof, um, that could also be like, if you, like for example, if you have a glass wall that you could um, rework into a glass roof, that would be an option. I just chose like flat pieces for the roof to work out, and then I tried to look for glass roof, but that didn't work out. So if the glass wall, if you, if you know of a glass wall that can be reworked, reworked as a glass roof, please feel free to let me know because that would be a great help to this workshop item, and I could, could definitely make a huge update to it. So the intent of this now is to start building this monorail in such a way it could look neat, yes, but at the same time it might not be. I'll be reweaving it in most places. I don't know how it would look against the, uh... I honestly don't know how this will work against that. Is that 15 degrees off? No, that's perfectly, uh, perfectly aligned. Okay. Probably want to turn here to make this work. Should I build the station here now? Entry right, exit right. That would put the person there. Yeah, and then I'd probably build another little piece there to make it work. Oh, that's going to be a problem. If I don't delete this tree. So we've done this for now. Demolish this tree, demolish this tree, demolish this tree. And then start on this. Actually, I could just do this, and that would still be a thing. Then if I did that, and then start building around the trees. Is that 15 degrees or 30? That's 30. Yeah, that would be 15. Would this be, would this work at 30? Yeah, it would work at 30. I could build another station piece there. Actually, yeah, that would not be a good. No, that would be a. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Instead of building the station piece there and working my built station building around it, like I said, building this building the station building is easier if you have the monorail to build around it. Working it around the monorail itself is going to be even worse. So maybe it's just best to start with this and then work our way over like that, and then start building that.
That's going to run into the tree. Yep, thought so. Yeah, the plan is to build a station here. Rather, I'd build it this way, just so I can have the entrance and exit go underneath, and then that would still work. So now comes the difficult part. But then this is where, this is the point where I'm gonna stop, because at some point we're gonna dip but I also want to keep the previous height when I go back up to this point. So what I'm going to do is stop here and return to the other side of the station and then start building from that end. Because what ends up happening is I'm going to go ahead and start building here now. Oh, good God. You're making me build there, aren't you? Wait a minute, is that... Demolish this piece. I don't want that piece. I want to actually go back over here to this end. No, not there! Oh my god. I ultimately want to go back over here. There, that's what I wanted. This is not a hotel shuttle, so I'm not going to bother making this monorail go towards the hotel. Rather, that work's going to be taken care of this way. Oh no, that's not going to work. Have it go this way, and then start working back this way. I'm trying to work around nature here too, mind you. I don't think we're going to be able to work through the Hellion Ring, so let's just skip over that and go this way. But you know what we are going to work through is my success coaster, which can easily run this monorail through like this. That's the thing, do I want... Uh, this now becomes a puzzle to me. Because I ultimately want to build like a... Um... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I think I got an idea here. 
I'm working around the scenery. But some scenery has to be sacrificed to make it work. Like over here, some scenery has to be sacrificed to make this work. Like some of these acacia trees. So let me done this for a minute and then start deleting some acacia trees. Now let me edit track. It's probably going to go back to that side of the station. Is that going to probably go back to that side anyway? Yep, I thought so. Now I go back here. That's what I was looking for. There you go. Because now I can build a station. Entry, left, exit, right. No, let me turn this 15 degrees instead, make this work that way. And then I can build the station entry left, exit right. No, delete that, entry right, exit left. There we are, that's what we wanted. Wait, it actually goes over the acacia trees? That's amazing at the same time. So now what? I do want a station that does go into the... Um... Oh, good grief. I don't know how this is going to work without deleting the acacia tree around it. Yeah, let me done this for now and then just delete this acacia tree here to make it work. Sacrifices do need to be made after all. And it's going to go back to that side again, isn't it? Yep, thought so. Alright, back to this end. There we are again. Okay, now we try this again. There we are. But now I kind of want to do this. Bring it out, like, up to here. And that's going to be where I stop. Because I go back over here, and now I'm going to start building again. Because now we're going to start taking a dip. Now we're going to start taking the real dip. And go low, low, low. And by, I'm sure what you guys know what I mean by low, low, low. Probably not that low. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna take another dip. Rather, the dip should actually happen here. Don't you guys think? And then I built the station here. This would be our entry left, exit right. Much better. And now I hit my autocomplete, it should find its way back up to that side like that. There you go. Easy peasy, isn't it? So now I start building some stations. 
and some other stuff. But here, how many do I want? I want one per station, which would probably be four if I think about it carefully enough. Is it four? Four stations? Four stations, yes. So I go to station 39, which is all the way out here. Now the intent for this one is I had the monorail design set up there. So our entrance would be placed here. And then the exit would be placed here. Now consider this part the instructions for how to do this. Now, path design. It doesn't matter what does path you use. I would prefer using the same path that you've used in your whole park. Width of the width of the path should be 13 feet or 4 meters, depending on which which system you use. Start here. Angle, angle, um, angle snap should be 90 degrees, but I have mine set to 11.25 because I typically have mine set to 90 degrees, anyways. And this should work like a spiral going down, like this. But it does get complicated after a while, so we really gotta be careful with where we place our paths. Because once we get to this point, it does become a problem. So eventually you may have to start deleting and reapplying paths as well to make it work in the end. So it would be over here that you'd have to start deleting again. This, this staircase here to make this work, but also deleting this path to make that work. Oh, and deleting that path to make that work. Sometimes also, it also works as well if you try to, like, if I go back down here. I mean, it also works as well if you just started from here as well, but even then, I find starting from a specific point to be a problematic nature in itself. I don't know how you connect this thing, honestly. Unless you tried that, there we go. Now I start connecting here, and then this is where I start my path connections. I'd have to, as well, start my exit path up. Wait. Disconnect that. Disc, and then start building this path. Yeah, I really built a complicated station set up here. And I really built a very complicated path set up here. Don't not gonna lie. And ultimately, that's how we ended. That's how we ended up at this point. Of course, it auto connects at a point, so don't mind that. And similarly with the Q path, we're going to use any Q path you prefer. I use the Planet Coaster one because why not? The Blue Cube Path because why not? That's how I've been. That's how I've been using the whole system. That's why I've been using this whole, whole game. And four meter or thirteen foot wide cube path. The same the same setup as before. We're gonna go down. And we're gonna wrap this way. And again, similarly, you're going to have to delete some paths to make this work. So like this. Then comes the... Oh, I don't need that problem anyways. I can just do it like that. <sighs> but, of course, the way your paths are set up, it also depends on how... Um, yeah, like I said, it also depends on how your, your paths are set up down below. If you have it the way I set up, you may experience some problems. Then again, I didn't even need to worry about them in the, in the first place. But, yeah... Well, originally I didn't come with instructions, but of course, if you guys need, like, arrowed instructions to make it work, then I'm sure you will have to do- I'm sure I'll apply them, including, like, stuff like the See Me, Hide Me that many people will use, or I could add instructions, like I know Zayfor, who in the Planko Discord also includes instructions on his designs as well, on stuff like Q path placement, the width, the angle snap, all that sort of stuff. 
If you guys want me to include that, I will most certainly do that for you. I just gotta find the time to do it. That's that station, but I need to set up the other stations now too. So I go to this station and be like, oh, I, did I set the entrance and exit up in the back? Yeah, I set it, set it up in the back. I'll go ahead and set them up this way. The entrance goes here and the exit we can always put in the back like this. And then similarly, I can just go, I wanna, I wanna just wait, make these wide like, like before. Now I could do the exact same thing I did before with that type, but that creates some bit of awkwardness now, does it? So I could go this way instead. I could go like this, be like, oh, go down this way, and then connect up like that. And then this should be easy peasy all the way down. Like that. As far as the exit's concerned, we do the exact same thing. But instead, because we have the standard 13-foot path by default, I will do something a little different. We'll go like this instead. Like that. There we go. So let me see Q Prestige. I believe it's 100% on this one, correct. Then this one becomes 13% because we've also added an unnecessary palm tree there, of course. That does reduce this a little bit to about... No, it's still 13%. Not too bad. I guess it's just the path scenery that make that work. Anyway, go to station 43, where I have that one set up with the entrance on this end. And then the exit here. Because now I can then go ahead and pop the connect there. Eventually, I'm going to have to do that just to make it work. I mean, that's work. That works. That works. Oh, wait, no. Um, get rid of that. Exit path now. This would go like... Exit path for this one is actually going to be a bit natural, like this one. So it would require this path. Right. I can wrap this back around with acacia trees to boot. So if I did that and then got wrapped around like that and then did this, that would be a thing. Oh no, I don't do that. I do this. Oh god, uh, delete that, and then go like that, and then that. There we go, that's what I do. Perfect. Now, the next station. I didn't, I didn't build these stations in that order anyway, so... Yeah, then station 46 all the way back here does this. Entrance over here to line up like that, and the exit the same way. As far as the entrance is concerned, I'll do 13 foot again, and then go this way. There will be a point where I have to stop, not there, and then turn, like this. There we go, that one. Now I have to do the thing with the path, like that. Here, let me do 45 degree angle snap on this one. Kind of make it easier for me to make it work. But I don't want to ruin the underrang, so I go like that, then do this. And then I'll return to my 11.25 angle snap to try and connect the path up like this. Easy peasy. See how Angle Snap does wonders? So now with that stuff out of the way, I would love to go ahead and test this out, make this work in the long run. I don't think testing works like that. I'd have to 
do that, and that's already all set. So what I don't necessarily need to do anything else. All I just got to do is just pop the open button, and then we'll be good. Good. Now, how about the cue path scenery? Shouldn't this whole light line be open? It should be. Okay. So let me see station 43. What kind of 27% on that one? It's the trees, I tell you. The trees. Then station 46 has 2%. I'd have to start putting some scenery around that as well. All right, easy peasy stuff. So on, on that note, we've got all the building stuff done as apart from what I, what, what um, blank spaces we have in the end. It's just some stuff that could use some uh, trees and whatnot. I could have my, um, I could have someone else do that. If I have family that knows how to decorate with trees, I can probably have Somewhat, some, someone along that line do that? We'll see. We'll see. But in the end, that's going to do it for today's episode of Planet Coaster. I am done with ride building for this entire park. No more replacing rides. No more building new rides. No more anything. But next time we see each other, i got to go through all my flat rides and do sequencing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like, post your comments, hit subscribe to the notification bell, share this video with your friends, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time. Go!